broadcast live. 64 bars, and I'm not alone today. I'm here with the one and only. Hey, Reese, baby boy, really a hazard. The boy doing things. The young king, straight out of Westview, Danville, Extension 3. Mm. If you know me, and if you fuck with me, then you know that already, love. Mm, oh, love, my brother. How are you feeling today? Feeling great, man. You? I can't complain, my brother. I want to jump right into it, bro. Tell me your Red Bull freestyle. How was that like? It was dope, man. Yeah. Anything that has to do with me rapping, bro, mm-hmm. like, I'm just happy to do it, mm. you know? Like, genuinely. Mm. Yeah. And the producer that you worked with? Michael Tui. Oh, yeah. My yeah. brother, Michael Tui, man. Um, I'm sure you you heard of that name. Of course, name of course. Already. Of course. Yeah. You guys have been working together. We've been working, bro. Still working so much in the vault. Um, yeah, my bro. He mm. produced the beat. My man is so crazy that each and every beat, beat he sends me, I kind of want to do something to it. Right. So that's how good he is, bro. Okay, my yeah. brother, okay. I want to also highlight the fact that you won at the Metro's Best Hip Hop, yeah. you know? Tell me, how is that feeling of winning for Vin Grimes? It feels dope, because mm-hmm. first of all, people were shitting on me, talking mm-hmm. about right, it, yeah, it's, a, it's a short-ass song or whatever. Mm-hmm. So it feels great that that song actually won an award. But besides all that, because... Because also, I love that song, bro. I actually love that record. I remember when I got the beat, I was like, this beat is so different. What the fuck am I going to do to it? It kind of like pushed me to try something different. And that's what I like about it. Because, mm. you know, I sound so edgy. It's it's a flow that I never used before. So I was like, I'm fucking with this and shit. And I also like the music video. You also had Raquel in the music video. Tell me about the making of that. Yeah, I be having my girl in my videos, though. Like, you know what I mean? So that's, mm. you know what I mean? <laughs> But, yeah, I mean, it's always fun working with, you know, people I'm close to. Yeah. So, yeah, we did the video. We kind of took the reference from uh, the Beyonce and Jay-Z, yeah, uh, yeah. Drunk in Love. I like that. Yeah, shit. So, yeah. Okay, my we brother. We did it. Kind of came out nice. I'm proud of it. I'm proud of it, too, my brother. Collaborations, man. Can we expect more music from Aries this year? Yeah, yeah. I mean, first of all, Jody's dropping uh, Shine O'Clock. I'm going to yes. be on there. Like, I have two cuts on there. Uh, the first one's out already, Vamanos. Oh, no. And then DJ Cleanse also dropping too oh. viral. And I'm on, a, I'm on like, not even a couple. I'm on a few records on that one. So, right. And it also has interesting um, collaborations. Mm. So I'm on songs with people you don't usually hear me on songs with type shit so mm-hmm. yeah that's, that's what's gonna happen maybe you can tell us one artist no 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 I can't do that Clan has to do that I can't do that I respect you know I mean? that I respect that my brother yeah, yeah. I wanna talk about your catalog do you have maybe your top three albums from you Aries <laughs> top three albums from, I mean number one P2 oh yeah and then I guess after that I'll say From Me To You and then Paradise mm. you know what I mean because it's kinda like with Paradise, I didn't really get the full creative control that I wanted, and it's kind of like it didn't come out how I intended it to. Okay. So I kind of have mixed feelings about it because, you know, I bump, I, I come, I come around people who say, "Yo, that shit is a classic, bro." Mm. I, I mean, like, shit got me through one, two, and three, and I'm like, "Bruh, I didn't even want that song on it. I didn't <laughs> fuck with this beat. You know what I mean? I didn't want to do that hook or whatever mm-hmm. the case. You know what I mean? So." Yeah, it's crazy. And then with For Me To You was when I was independent for the first time and I could do whatever the fuck I wanted and I just felt so liberated and, and free. free and confident, you know what I mean? And it, it, it kind of, it, it was like a make or break situation too because I had to prove myself like, okay, what are you about? Now yeah. that you out the label, now that you, you running around with your gang or whatever, you know? Mm. So, but as far as P2, I feel like, from those two records prior to it, I improved, you know what I mean, at a Thanks. very, you know, large scale. So that's why I put it number one. Oh, I respect it, my brother. Let us wrap it up with your top five all time rappers. Damn, bro, that's so hard, man. I mean, right now, I would say um, number one from anywhere. Anywhere in the world. I would say number one right now is your old Droog. Okay. I'm not sure if you know about him or I'm not. Top. Your old Droog is fire. Mm-hmm. His new album, Movie, just came out. He's incredible. Number two, I'd say Absol. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, num- number three, I'd say Jay Jody. Oh, yeah? Yeah, man. Like, this nigga, man. The big you know what I mean? He gives me sleepless nights, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, number four, I would say... Um, I want to give it to some of the young guns. 
I'm gonna say Slim Dumpy. Okay. And then number five, I'll say, um, who's this kid? Um, oh yeah, Reese. Reese. Right, oh, right. of course, of course, my brother. I appreciate the interview. Broadcast live.